Go, go, get your fish, go get your fish, dude. <laughs> Yeah, buddy! That's for you, Chad. <laughs> you gonna be able to stop him? Oh, he's turning the whole boat. I took my boy Chris out on the boat today and we absolutely slayed. So today is kind of like a crazy fishing plus an angler spotlight video. So I really hope you guys enjoy. I've got a lot of action. You got a bone, bro. What you got? I told you. Oh my god. I told you. What did I tell you, bro? No way. No what way. did I tell you? Here, I'm gonna try and bring mine in. <laughs> Hold on, let me stop the trolley. I'm not losing. No, you're not losing it. Get up, stand up on there. I told you. There you go, put that right there. Grab this other camera right now. That's a beautiful bonefish, my friend. My guy. My guy. It was already worth the trip out here, man. Here, keep fighting him, let him run. Nice. He came off? I just got the cameras ready. Ooh, yeah. Um, I feel really bad for Chris right now because that was that was like a 20 inch bonefish and you don't want to lose that especially not fighting it for that long you know so I know you know we, we went through a good 10 minute period where he was just silent I could feel the pain you know but uh guys more action check it out what? Let me see that. <laughs> yeah. It's time to announce the winner from the last trivia question. And the winner is Gavin Carter. Congrats. You got all the questions right. I'll be sending you that SA uh, face shield. So just shoot me an email at brian at ceofishing.com and I'll get that face shield out to you. Today I got an epic episode. Watch the video, make sure you take notes because I got trivia questions coming up at the end of the video for your chance to win another prize. Fish on, fish on baby. Yo, that is shark bait right there. Right there, Don't, doesn't look like we needed the bonito. What's up guys, it's your boy Brian the CEO here and this is another episode of Angler Spotlight. What's up guys, I'm Chris. I'm born and raised in Miami, Florida. And you got a YouTube channel, right? Yes sir. Right, what's your YouTube and what's your Instagram? Chris Fishes is my YouTube and uh, my Instagram is Chris Fishes underscore. Underscore. Alright, so I'll have that in the link in the description below. Make sure you guys check them out. Chris works over at, right there, let me zoom in, Bite Me Bait Shack. So that's how we linked up and uh, decided to go fishing. And tell us a little bit about like, what got you started in fishing? Well, there's uh, two different things that got me started. Um, when I first, I guess, even had a pole in my hand was when uh, my mom and dad divorced and uh, my dad uh, moved next to a lake. Uh, local park and then uh, we went started messing around because we were bored I guess my first with my first fish would be a bluegill and then um, I would go on and off with the fishing and then and as soon as I turned 16 I went to my local bait shop was which was bite me bait shack, bite me bait shack. and then uh, I got offered a job and then I started learning more and more and more I used to be a big-time uh, skateboarder so I quit skateboarding for sure and then I decided to do uh, fishing full-time and I uh, more than grateful where I'm at now. No regrets, huh? No regrets on anything. None. Not one. Not one letter. <laughs> All right, first, first shark of the day. You got yourself a gummy, boy. Major. Major gums. Emoji. <laughs> it's all good. That means that. <laughs> that means that just means that there's gonna be uh, more sharks coming really soon. All right, let's get this little mouth queefer out and uh, de-hook so you can keep your hook and put them back in the water. How's that sound? Good. 
All right, mouth queefer, let's go. Oh, you see that, right? Yeah. Holy crap. Definitely not getting one on that. Back. Do you at least see a shadow? Yeah. Right here. How big do you think he is? At least four foot, five foot. It's gotta be five. Come on. Look at that. Woo! Oh, my arm is absolutely freaking dead right now. <laughs> Holy man. Yo, Brian. Yeah, got it. I told you. Patience. All right. I need Gatorade. All right, so you're saying you got started because your parents divorced, your dad moved by a lake, and you just kind of, to, to occupy time, you went and started fishing, and you caught bluegills and stuff, and then getting a job at Bite Me just kind of threw you straight into it, right? Yeah, I was uh, I actually would go on and off with the fishing, and I was I was mainly doing skateboarding on the side because my friends were, it was, just, it was all skateboarding. And... Skater die, dude! <laughs> But fishing is just, I got so good at it so quick. You know, I learned really quick, you know, and I got, no pun intended, I got hooked on it pretty good. That's where I'm at now, and now I just want to keep learning and keep progressing. You know, I've progressed a lot within, I would say, a good year. I've yeah. progressed like crazy. Uh, in, in one year, I, I I caught my 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 first tarpon, lost like a thousand tarpon, and then learned, and then caught 130 pound tarpon next to a bridge. You know, that's, that's unheard of you know it's just learning and trying to figure out what what to do and there's different techniques and you know it's just I want to keep learning I want to keep progressing I want to you know I don't want to be the best you want to be a, uh, uh, a legend like drag running junkie huh I want to be a legend <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yo yo I'm gonna get fucking yo I'm gonna get splattered BBs yo I'm gonna get splattered there you go he's gonna he's gonna slow down he's gonna slow down you got it <laughs> don't let him pop my guy let him go. Let him go. He'll get tired. Don't lose your ride. <laughs> oh my God, bro. All right, I'm going to pull the anchor up. Or you think you got him? <laughs> we got to chase him? Let me know. I see. I just got tired off the run. Yeah. I have to fight him. <laughs> what I tell you, don't move the damn bait, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Patience, my guy. <laughs> Yo, if I can land him, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's another massive lemon, I think. Yeah, I bet. If it's bigger than mine, good. Good. Is this why you like fishing? These are those moments? Oh, yeah. These are definitely the moments. I don't gotta worry about. Being late on my bills, <laughs> having to pay nothing, dealing with people. Nothing. We just out here. Just having the shark whip my ass. <laughs> and he's doing a good job of it too, man. That thing is huge. I'm cool with that. I say that's a min minimum 100 pound shark. Minimum. Head shake. So you think that drag's tight until he actually starts running again. At the what? I said you think the drag's tight until he runs again. Like that. <laughs> right on cue, baby. I think, I think you got payback when I, 
But I jinxed your drone. <laughs> you did, man. This guy said, hey, if you, it would suck if you crashed your drone. Boom! Drone fell in the water. You get to finish my sentence. Nah. You crashed your drone. And I don't even get to keep the footage because it was salt water and it fried. There we go. Chris got that boy. You got the leader touch. Oh, he's still. Oh, he's still. Get that thing off the. Oh, the motor, the motor, the motor. You have to lift up the motor. Okay. Got you, my guy. <laughs> I'm done with you. Come on. That was about a six and a half foot lemon shark that just whooped Chris's butt. So congrats to him on uh, getting a PB. We put the cameras down. We wanted to de-hook the shark and make sure we got it back off safely. So in doing that, we forgot to pick the cameras up and film anything. More to come. Hope you're enjoying. I know you've been fishing a lot lately. You know, um, I've seen the pictures on Instagram and stuff. You're like slaying the tarpon, getting snook, all kinds of stuff. Today, we got your personal best shark. Yes, yeah, thanks to you, I really appreciate Yee. it. But uh, what, what is your best memory of fishing? What's that one memory that sticks out to you the most? And it's like, yo, that, that, that did it for me. Oh man, that's that's a tough one. I would have to say when I caught um, I caught like a 30 to 40 pound jack. I was with my boy Dylan from the bait shop. I, uh, I had him belly up. You know, I had to walk him from one bridge to the other, and it was this bridge was about a mile and a half long, and um, I had to walk him. And as I'm walking him, there's three, there's a hammerhead, an eight foot hammerhead, and there's two giant bull sharks circling it. And I'm like, man, I'm not gonna be able to get this picture. I mean, this is a, this is my biggest jack. Get a bridge net. If you're going bridge fishing, please get a bridge net. Anyways, I had to walk to the other side of the bridge, and then um, I had to, I had 100 pound braid, which was this, and I had to take my shirt off, wrap it around my hand, because the braid was gonna cut my hand. I had to do that, get the braid, I had to loosen up the jack, wrap it around my hand, and then constantly like, wind him up, like a good 15, 20 feet up the bridge. I didn't know until the last minute, uh, when Dylan was gonna take the picture of me, I was picking him up and my hand sunk in its guts. And I look, I didn't even, it, it, my, my reaction's on camera, uh, on my Instagram. You'd have to like look back. But when I flipped him upside down, it was this giant shark bite in the center of its, of its, um, of its stomach. Tax man came Tax, the before tax you man got it. definitely came, it was sick. A lot of great memories, but uh, that's pro I would have to say that one. Cause I, I every time I- It is crazy and freaking good at the same time. Personal best, plus it got taxed, and you got your every bloody. Time, oh yeah, every time I see it, I I, I think of that day. It's, it's just, yeah. It was a sick moment, for sure. You said you want a bigger shark today, right? <laughs> yeah. I think we did it. Woo! Right at the camera. Hey, got his shark, and I think my rod's going off right now too, bro. All right, turn him to the side real quick. Nice. All right, let's get him in the water. Bomb, I got a screenshot for you. Okay, I think my rod just got thumped. My rod just got thumped, baby. Get him, just get him, dude. Okay. Oh. Hey, it's locked in there. Shoot. That was in the channel, deep. Oh. All right, this camera's still rolling. I think you rubbed on something. Can you see him or no? Yeah, he's coming back up. That was like right on cue. Yours was going in the water? Yeah. Same thing with the last one, remember? Yeah. I like my sharks and twos. They're creased a lot. Figures. Gum gum. Gum gum. It's like grandma's teeth. Gum gum say gum gum. Hi, Chris back on. Don't fall off. I gotta get this guy back in the water. It's a nice one. A little gummy, but he had other hooks in his mouth, so we had to bring him on to de-hook him. I'm gonna get him back in the water while Chris fights this guy before I pass out. Whew. Oh no babies today, man. Yeah. The smallest one we got was what? Four feet? I think, yeah. 
four and, a, four and a half pushing five. That's the smallest. My arms are shaking. <sighs> what is it about fishing that just kept you going into it? Like, what, what does it mean to you? You know, does it does it help you out with like stress, like it does for me and other people, or you just you just enjoy it and just have fun doing it? It's uh, it's very addicting, I would say. I've, I've gone broke for sure. But, um, <laughs> but then I, but but I know I know it's gonna make me happy. If, if I only have a hundred dollars in my account and uh, and I want to go fish, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend that hundred dollars and I'm gonna I'm gonna because I know I'm gonna be happy. That's 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 what's gonna make. What if I'm stressed at the moment? I'm gonna spend my last hundred dollars and I'm gonna go and and and, and go fish because it'll it, be out there. It's just it's quiet. I mean, look, look where we're at. I mean, there's, there's no one bothering us right now. You know, there's there's no one out here. You know, it's all water, the wind, the breeze. You know, it's just no one. You know, it's just peaceful target that big fish you don't want to have to deal with like oh I'm gonna have to I've got bills to pay and you know I got to deal with this and I got to deal with that no you know what I'm gonna go and stress about trying to catch a giant peacock or a giant tarpon uh, that's really clear out your brain that's and my focus. version yeah of stress I'd rather stress about that you know it's a good type of stress and, yeah uh, I choose that over anything that's a nice shark <sighs> oh yeah Way bigger than my first one. <laughs> I just broke my PB in one day. Twice. <sighs> Beautiful lemon, bro. That's how you do it. Yep. Right now, letting the current run through his gills. Soon he'll just. Snap off and cruise down. That's it. All right. There he goes. There he goes. Good stuff, man. You ready to go home? Let's go. My back hurts. My everything hurts. Today was absolutely freaking lit. But again, let them know how to find you. Uh, all you gotta do is, uh, I guess, click the link in the description. It's Chris Fishes. Bomb down there, right, I do it's right there somewhere. I, I do all types of comedy and crazy stuff, so keep an eye out for yeah, that. Yeah, good and channel, I, good channel. My Instagram, Chris Fishes underscore. 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 <laughs> Yee. Yeah. All right, you ready to catch some more fish, man? Let's go. Let's go. All right, it's trivia time, guys, and today I'm giving away another SA face shield, a mystery buff. You're not gonna know what it is until you get it, but. Today's trivia questions, and today was crazy, crazy day. Um, let's see, trivia question number one. What fish did Chris lose at the beginning of the video? It was a heartbreaker because that thing was actually a very, very nice size for that type of fish. Trivia question number two. How many sharks did we land? Trivia question number three is not really a trivia question. It's just to make sure I know that you're subscribed with your notifications on. So if you are, type yes, hashtag notification squad. Comment your answers below and I will pick one lucky winner to be shouted out in the next video and to win this SA face shield. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. As usual, make sure you're subscribed and have those notifications on. As usual guys, head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. See you next time. Yeet. I slay with a passion. They say I be swagging. They slay in the fashion. Feel like King Arthur. I just slay the dragon. My jig on the bottom. I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage from snooking the best.